Okay, so for this one, it's um, this is retirement pays this till January one of year Y, and the ba account balance sex okay, and deposit one hundred throughout every quarter until it was May first at year Y plus ten. The balance was one point nine X, which means that throughout every deposit, it would accumulate to this balance, and that ten years have passed, right? So that would mean that there are, since they're quarterly payments, that means that 40, four times 10, 40 payments have occurred so far up until uh, May 1st. So one more quarter once April was done. So 41 payments so far, right? So if we look at these answer choices, we could get rid of A because it's 42 payments, 42 payments here, 42 payments here. Now we're left with these two. Now we notice here that, well, it sets up how on top of the initial balance of X, when we make these deposits, it will accumulate to 1.9X, which we are looking for here. But now it's they have different interest rates. So let's look at what they're giving us here. So it says, 4.2 convertible monthly, which is 0.35, right? So if I were to do 1.0035, I would want to convert it to, to the 12th. I would want to convert it to quarterly, right? So I'm going to make it equal 1 plus J to the 4. Now I'm also going to do, okay, 1.0035 to the 12th. And then to the one over four, okay, and then minus one, okay, and I'll find out that j is 0 0.0105367. Okay, so that is the quarterly effective rate. Now, the thing here is that um, for each deposit of 100, we would, that's how we would uh, discount it if we want to discount the whole thing. Um, but we see here that we see the quarterly rate is evident over here, but it's to the K minus one power. So what would that mean? Well, it means that towards the next p quarterly period, um, Towards the next quarterly period, uh, it would subtract one from for some reason, and I don't know how that would make sense when it's just supposed to simply uh, discount it to at the time period that it's occurring. So if I were to discount the quarterly payment in in the first period time payment why would I subtract one to make it zero, right? But I do know that the quarterly payment is still 0.0105%. So I'm looking here and I will just, I notice, so 0.010536, right? Now I'm looking at this one and I notice, hey, I could do 1.0035 to the 24th. Uh, to the three, never mind, sorry, 1.0035 to the three. And I find out that this equals to 1.01, uh, 1.010536, which is the same exact thing, but added one, right? So that would mean that answer C is the correct answer.